All right, so let's talk about multiplying items. To multiply this little doggy, all we're gonna do is right click on him and choose Multiply Selected. Or you could simply press Control M. The screen will pop up, ask you how many you wanna make. So you say you wanna make two. Press OK. Now you've got three doggies. Notice Cura is not kind enough to duplicate them in the correct orientation. This is something that's been asked for. And it's been on their feature list for a while, but has yet to happen. Now that you have two, you can go ahead and select both of these by holding down shift and clicking on them both. Then right clicking, choosing multiply selected. Now you can choose one copy and it will duplicate both of them into two dogs. Now you can take these two dogs, select multiply and do two copies and you'll get four dogs. If I selected both and did multiply one copy, I'd still only get one copy of each dog. So I'd have two dogs. Cura arranges these models on the build plate in a way that it thinks it, they fit the best for printing. However, I have a problem with this for many reasons. So I prefer to orientate them myself utilizing all the tools we've been learning so far. First thing I want to do is give them a little space and then face them forward. So we grab and use the rotate tool. We talked about that. One click, two clicks. One click, two clicks. One click. You'll notice that because you chose the rotate tool, the rotate tool will stay active as you click on other models you don't have to click it every time and now your dogs are all facing in the correct orientation but let's say you want to line them up together starting with him that would be the easiest method because he's at zero he is centered in the bed but let's say he wasn't centered in the bed let's say he was here we would click on him and click on our move and make sure your y-axis z-axis and x-axis are all zero now he's centered in the bed. When you make a change, you just have to either click away or click enter. Either of those things will apply your change. So now that this puppy is centered, we can center and align other models. For example, these two, we can simply make their Y zero. And now they're in line. If we want to back them up, we can simply take one, push him back to where we want him. I like to look at that number and find the closest rounded number. So minus 20. And then you can take these other guys and set them to minus 20 as well. Now they're lined up at minus 20 higher on the bed. So yes, you'll notice I used minus. Minus is up this way plus is down this way towards the front of the bed so if I did 20 instead of minus 20 they will come up here minus 20 back there then of course you can do the same thing with these guys right here if you want to align them with these guys so say we want this guy in line with this guy his red is minus 45 749 Again, I would like to set this to a, a rounded number, so 45. And then we'll set this guy to minus 45 as well. Now he's perfectly in line with that doggy. This guy here is 43. So I will even that down to 43. And make this guy 43. And now he's in line as well. We can simply take them both, drag them back closer. And now we've got lined up rows of doggies. You'll notice again uh, the difference between plus and minus. So minus 45 is this side. Plus 45 is this side. This is the plus side. This is the minus side. This is the plus side. This is the minus side. And that's how you move your dogs around. And there's a few reasons you'd want to do this. For example, your Z seam, once you manually set your Z seam, you would want it to be in the same place on all your dogs. 
In order for that to be the case, they must be in the same orientation. Also, as your bed moves forward and backward and your nozzle moves left to right, it can affect the print quality. Some models will print better being on the bed's axis where the bed is moving forward and back more. Others will print better where the nozzle is moving left to right more. So once you figure out which way your model prints best with more bed movement or more nozzle movement, you can orientate your model to plan for that. Another reason to orientate your models as you wish is based on your method of model removal. Many models will remove themselves from the bed quite easily. Others require a little nudging. And if you come up with a specific way to successfully remove a difficult model from the bed, you want to be able to duplicate that method on all the prints on that bed. If your doggos are facing 9,000 different ways and you need to remove it a certain way, that could prove difficult. You will want to be sure you have access to that same location on all your models by printing them in the same orientation where you can remove one at a time. One final reminder, just to remember, you can use the shift button to select multiple or all models and then make consistent changes across those chosen models. This can make your life a whole lot easier. So don't forget that you are able to make those changes across multiple models by using the shift button to select one, two, three, or all your models.